Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer, and in this video, we are going to be discussing what I think an ideal Battlefield game would be. This is kind of like a wish list, I guess, for Battlefield 5, and I thought it might be a good idea to kind of express my opinions on what I think an ideal Battlefield game should consist of. Now, I've played every Battlefield game all the way from Bad Company up to, most recently, Battlefield 1. I've kind of decided to take the good components and the bad components from each of those games and culminate the ideal Battlefield experience. Now, of course, not everybody is going to have the same opinions that I do, which is why I encourage you to leave your comments down below in the comment section. I decided to pull the best elements from each Battlefield and then put those into a list, starting from the least important to the most important. First up on the list is graphics. Now, of course, everyone knows good graphics make a game look better, obviously, but does it really change the game? Does it add anything to the game to really, you know, change up the experience? On the surface level, yes, you know, it makes the game look better, obviously, but outside of that, it doesn't do much. Let's look at a game like Minecraft. Minecraft admittedly doesn't have the best graphics in the world, and the popularity of that game is just outstanding. Everybody loves playing that game. The same can be said for games like League of Legends and Dota. Those games don't really look great, but they are amazing games that are very, very successful. And now the second element would be the theme. And the theme is going to tie into something I'll talk about a little bit later in the video, but just stick around. So pretty much, the way I see it, the theme kind of puts you in a certain box when we're talking about Battlefield games. Let's take a look at Battlefield 1 for example. Because Battlefield 1 is set in World War 1, they're limited to the amount of weapons, gadgets, skins, and abilities that you could do at that time. But then if we go to a game like Battlefield 3 or even Battlefield 4, there's a lot more we can work with, right? Modern military means, you know, modern weapons obviously, modern gadgets, and a plethora of different abilities and skins and things like that. Which is why I think the ideal Battlefield game should be set in a modern military or even, you know, somewhat futuristic. Either would be fine for me. Now, like I said before, the theme is going to tie in a little bit to the next topic, which is going to be customization. Customization is key in Battlefield games. We look at a game like Battlefield 1, which in my opinion, is still a good game, but Part of the flaw with that game is its lack of customization. Now, of course, it is set in World War I, which, like I said before, they were very limited at that time. But because of this limitation, customization suffers as well. There are only so many guns we can pick in that game, and it's kind of disappointing, actually. Uh, with Battlefield 4, though, we have a plethora of customization options because of its theme. If you wanted to run an AK-12 with a red dot sight, foregrip, four times scope with like a zebra camo, that's totally possible. That's, that's the beauty of customization and being able to make the gun your own. Now next up is the overall gameplay. How does the game feel? Like, how does it all come together? Now this is like really vague actually, but what I mean by this more specifically is, is the game balanced and is it actually fun to play? Admittedly, Battlefield 4 did have some issues when it came to being balanced because there were so many weapons to choose from. They had about 20 weapons in each category and it was very hard to make those guns feel different but at the same time be balanced. And over time, the guns did get more balanced but when the game first came out, every gun kind of felt the same and it was like really lackluster to play. And by no means am I saying it's an easy job to balance guns because, you know, because what do I really know about gun balancing? But to make a game fun and to make it fair, there has to be balance in not only the weapons, but the gadgets as well. And now moving on a little bit further, I think it's also key that the next Battlefield game is able to create these wow moments and moments where you're actually thinking out of the box. Battlefield is known for having its Battlefield moments where you're flying through the air in a jet, you jump out, you shoot a rocket launcher at a tank, then you make your amazing escape in a truck down a highway. That is the beauty of Battlefield, and I hope the next game is able to create moments like that. Of course, Levolution and the behemoths in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 did offer the same wow factor, but I want to see more of that in Battlefield 5. More moments of thinking outside of the box. More Battlefield moments. And now something that I feel has been lacking recently in recent Battlefield games is like a real motivation to play, a real sense of progression while playing the maps. We have in Battlefield 1, it takes a while to actually unlock good weapons in that game and in between that time period you're not doing much, you're simply playing the game for either battle packs or just to simply rank up your character. In Battlefield 4 and even Battlefield 3 and I would even say in Battlefield Hardline as well, there is a steady progression from 
first rank all the way to max rank and there were so many different things you could do in that time frame. I really enjoyed the progression because if there was a certain weapon you wanted to grind for, you could do that, right? And at the same time, there were so many different options in that game, which really allowed you to pick and choose what things you wanted to do. On the other hand, in Battlefield 1, there isn't really much customization or even progression in that game, and I really feel like they missed out on the opportunity to make BF1 players interested in actually staying in the game and leveling up. And last but certainly not least on this list, good server support. Sure, the game could look amazing, it could have amazing gunplay, you know, everything could be balanced, there could be loads of customization, but if the game isn't running properly on the servers, it's gonna be worthless, which is why I think it is absolutely essential that Battlefield 5 has good server support if it wants a substantial longevity in the gaming scene. So, now that I've gone over all of my key attributes that I think a Battlefield game should consist of, I'm gonna give you my ideal Battlefield experience. For Battlefield 5, I would really enjoy seeing a modern military slash somewhat futuristic theme. Something similar to maybe the Division's kind of tech or anything like that would be really nice. I say this because it gives you a wide variety of gadgets and weapons to choose from. Right, let's go back to the box concept, right? Let's say with Battlefield 1, we have a certain box, right? You can fit a certain amount of content in that game because the box is only so big. But if you extend the box, which I'm hoping would be the case with Modern Military, you can have a plethora of different gadgets, weapons, and skins to use at your disposal. And I'm not trying to hate on Battlefield 1, I know this sounds like a rant on BF1, but no it's not. I just think that my ideal Battlefield includes having a wide variety of weapons to use and having amazing maps to play on. Now I'm gonna be honest, this video does sound extremely biased towards Battlefield 4, but that's simply because I've had the majority of my Battlefield experience on Battlefield 4. Like I said, I have played Bad Company 1 and Bad Company 2, BF3 and BF4 and even Hardline, but you know, the majority of my points and stuff were mainly focused on BF4. Now, that's not to say that games like Bad Company 1 and 2 were not good games, because in my opinion, they were fantastic. I just simply have preferences towards Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, and in this particular video, BF3 and BF4 and even Hardline really backed up my point, and they really showcased what I was trying to prove in this video. But that's going to wrap up my opinion on what I think the ideal Battlefield game should be. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section because I guarantee not everybody has the same opinion that I do. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed already for more content like this. And as always, thank you guys for checking out this video and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Stay crispy and I will see you in the next video. Peace.